Hi there, Sam Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday, January 23rd, following a cold weekend here in the Mid-Atlantic region. We had a decent snow event throughout much of the Mid-Atlantic early in the weekend that was a rather well-behaved storm, didn't throw many surprises our way with about one or two inches of snow throughout the D.C. region, followed by quite a bit of icing, two to four inches throughout Philadelphia and about three to five inches throughout the New York City region. That cold air remain firmly entrenched on Sunday and even this morning there's still some areas right around the freezing mark as we get a little bit of a freezing drizzle in some parts of the mid-Atlantic region. However, milder air is moving in and all areas will move way up into the 40s later on today. Let's take a look at the latest surface map. First of all, we have a broad flow of milder air, southwesterly flow of air just ahead of a cold front here over the Ohio Valley. This is the milder air that's advancing into the uh, mid-Atlantic and northeastern part of the country. Appropriately, it's a rather gloomy morning here across the entire state of Pennsylvania with some low clouds and fog and some gentle tears falling from the sky, especially over Happy Valley. This milder air as it advances to the north and east is encountering some cold ground, snow cover conditions, and that's leading to some fog, and some of that fog will uh, become quite thick later on this morning and into the afternoon hours. Later on today, the rains will pick up. It's really just a gentle mist right now, but there's a, a band of uh, decent showers and heavier downpours just on the western side of the state of Pennsylvania, across West Virginia, closer to the frontal systems. All that will press from west to east into the mid-Atlantic region during the p.m. hours, during the afternoon and into the early evening. So despite the light precipitation falling now, there will be some heavier rain coming later on today. Here's the latest radar loop, and again, just a kind of a gentle mist falling throughout much of Pennsylvania, and temperatures are still close to freezing around some parts of the uh, mid-Atlantic region with 32 de degrees last hour at Dulles Airport, uh, above freezing pretty much throughout the Philadelphia region right now. And again, temperatures will climb well up into the 40s throughout the mid-Atlantic region later on today. There won't be any icing issues at all this afternoon or tonight. This band of heavier showers associated with the frontal system will move in during the afternoon hours, and the rain can actually get fairly hard for a short time later on this afternoon into this evening. It'll end for the most part during the early evening and there'll be some clearing later on, paving the way for a very nice Tuesday for this time of the year. Here's the latest IR composite satellite loop and uh, quite a, a fetch of air coming out of the Gulf right up into the, uh, the uh, Midwest and the eastern part of the country. Some thunderstorms have developed with this frontal system and some of these have reached severe levels across Mississippi and Alabama headed into the Georgia and South Carolina region. Again, a mild air mass headed our way, but that will encounter the cold ground, and especially where it's snow-covered here in the Mid-Atlantic region, fog will break out over the next few hours, and that'll continue right into the afternoon hours. It may disperse some later on in the afternoon as the winds start to pick up with that heavier band of showers moving through from west to east towards the Mid-Atlantic region. Well, let's take a look at a couple of GFS forecast maps. This is for this evening, and this is when the heaviest part of the precipitation later on this afternoon and this evening. Again, for most of the morning, it'll just be a light mist here from Washington across to Philadelphia into New York City, but there is some heavier rain coming. All in all, it will not be a very heavy rain event, but again, there'll be some bands of some heavier rainfall during the afternoon and early part of the evening here in the Mid-Atlantic region as that cold front moves through. Now, there is some Colder air behind it, but tomorrow will actually not be at all chilly for this time of the year. It'll still be well above normal, despite the fact that a cold front will be passing through tonight. Here's the GFS map for tomorrow night. That cold front now well off the coast. And again, it's just a moderately chilly air mass. In fact, temperatures tomorrow will reach 50 degrees in many parts of the mid-Atlantic region with quite a bit of sunshine, which is very mild for this time of the year. Now, there is some moisture already gathering uh, some strength here down in the uh, southern part of the country. This looks like it'll head towards the mid-Atlantic region and spell some more rain later on Thursday, maybe into Thursday night. And there is a possibility it'll be cold enough for a wintry mix to get involved in that picture. So we'll take a look at that over the next couple of days. And looking beyond that, there are some signs of a possible coastal storm for the weekend. So we'll monitor the Thursday event and then the possible weekend event over the next couple of days. For the SIWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.